Hello, welcome back to the 12 holiday reviews for the season. Fallen Dragonite here again, and today we will be looking at the Figma Megamine. And here she is, looking quite nice. There are some problems with this figure though, and I will address them as we go along. But first, for a size comparison, and I haven't been doing this this whole series, but here she is next to the Dark Magician Girl I reviewed prior on this series. Yeah, she is a little bit smaller. But then again, Megumin is kind of a small girl. Anyway, let's take her off the stand. Take a look at the details. She has her... Oh! Sorry, that's my bad there. Yeah. yeah, parts are falling off here, so I'll be getting to them. You can see she has her little shouting face. She has her gloved hands. This piece was attached to her hair. This is a separate piece. It comes separately. It's supposed to simulate her eye spark, and I was only using it for this review. I will probably never use it again. And here is her hat. She has one bandaged leg, one stocking. She has her boots, which have a nice little joint there. Her knees have decent range of movement. She has the same type of hips as the Dark Magician Girl, as well as the same shoulders, elbows, wrists, etc. She also has three joints in her cape, so you can get it splayed out or folded up nice and tight on her shoulders. You may also notice her hairpiece, the eye patch is attached directly to the hairpiece because she also has an alternate hairpiece without the eye patch. It does kind of have this weird look to it with the eye patch actually attached to the hair and not to her face, but you do what you can. Let's get her on her base again. You see, it's attached right to her cape. With that adapter. The adapter comes off if you're taking the cape off because yes indeed the cape can come off. It's a little tricky though because you have to get it off of her shoulder in order to pull the peg out like so. See it's a thick clear peg and there is the post in her back so you have to take off the adapter and stick that in like so so you use the stand without her cape on first issue is with her hat see this little plastic bit right here just little flat piece of plastic you'd see in packaging that's the thing that's keeping her hair attached to her I mean the hat attached to her head as you can see this little little uh, spike there. See it's supposed to go in between the hair like so. It's supposed to be sandwiched in there when you uh, put her bang when you put her hair on. It does not stay on too well. In fact as I said before I do prefer how the Dark Magicians is Dark Magician Girls is really firm on there. Although there is a hole in the back of her head because of how the hat attaches, but it's a lot firmer holding than on Megamine. Now then, there are a few other parts we get. We have her basic smiling face here. And then we have the face when Cosmo uses his steel ability on her. I'm sure some of you are probably wondering, and yes... They're black. No, I'm not going to show them on camera because I'm not a pervert. <laughs> she also has an alternate gem for her staff. All you do is just pull it out like so. 
see that it's just a regular red gem, which I don't want to roll away here. And we just replace it. I need to find the hole with the other gem like so. Then of course she has her little demon kitty cat. And of course it's a Figma figure so she has all of her alternate hands on this little tray. These two right here are the, the reason I'm having them pointed up like this is because these don't really hold in too well on this holder. And of course this final bit which requires some assembly an alternate top for her staff and yes the magic effect so you see I took this little clear bit off the top of her staff I put it right in the middle and plug that in like so and you just take this piece off like so and replace it with this carefully and now she's casting her explosion shoulder on this arm is not strong enough to hold it up this shoulder is a lot stronger so it's usually preferred that you if you're having this explosion effect to have it in her right arm instead of her left. So we're just going to take the effect piece off and put the standard staff piece back on. Now then, the big issue I have with this figure. You notice how this whole time I've never taken that staff out of her hand? Yeah, there's a little tiny clear plastic bit that holds the top of the staff onto the bottom part, just like with the Dark Magician Girl. Unfortunately, you may notice that's a little off-sided a bit. That's because that little tiny plastic uh, rod, almost as thin if not thinner than a toothpick, snapped. It just snapped right off. So basically I had to glue this staff back together and I have to get it in and out of her hand by clipping it into her hand like so. I have to be very gentle as to not to spread her hand out too much. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to pull this apart so you can get it in her hand. But again, that little tiny plastic rod snapped and I had to glue this back together. Again, it is a bit of a flaw with this figure, and it's really recommended that if you do get this figure, be very, very careful with that rod, or just outright glue it together, never take it apart ever again. <clears throat> so, with that out of the way, let's replace Megamine's face with her embarrassed face. Snap the un eye patched. Oh, I forgot to mention her head it does have a few joints in it so you can get a bit of a extended neck or getting her looking down like that. As if Cosmo just used steel on her. So yeah. That is the Figma Megamine. Nice figure. Lots of stuff that can break on this. Well, at least the staff can break way too easily. And I highly recommend never taking this out of the, the uh, Ziploc bag. Or else you're going to lose it pretty damn quick. Anyway, I hope to see you guys again next review. We got two left before this uh, series is over. So until then, bye.